What's up, y'all? Welcome back to your boy's channel. It is your boy, Tariq Ali. I hope you guys are having a great day, positive day, full of love. I am going to be showing you guys my updated hair routine. I haven't done one in, I think, years. I think the last time I did it was 2017. So I'm black right now, but I never let myself go back to black. Like, I usually never get here because I consistently keep my blonde. The reason I'm black right now is because I think the last time I bleached my hair was for my birthday in November. I was treating it with protein, and I was doing protein treatments, and I was, like, conditioning it, putting oil in it. Just, you know, and just letting it grow out naturally and then I just cut it until all the blonde was gone. So right now it looks like gray, but those are actually just some blonde hairs that I left in my head. So look, I'm going to be giving you guys every single detail of my blonde routine, my platinum routine. I'm not a professional, I'm just sharing what I do and what I have been doing for over a year. I don't use a color dye, so a lot of people are always asking what toner do you use, what color is that, I don't know. I, all I use is bleach. Now what I'm going to say is my routine is very extreme and I do not suggest this routine to anyone that has longer hair, honestly. I only suggest this routine to people that have short hair or have like something close to mine or just something close to mine. Do not, if you have like a pixie cut or I'm sorry girl, this video probably isn't going to be for you. You could probably watch it to see why I'm saying that, but I would not recommend this routine. It's very very damaging and it really just depends on what type of hair you have, if it's thick enough, strong enough, like whatever. This routine is very extreme and um, when I tell people they like, are you serious? So yeah, I'm gonna get into it, y'all are gonna see what I mean, but so I already cut my hair to the length that I wanted. I do cut my own hair, I fade my own hair, I do my own eyebrows, I bleach my own hair, like it started off as me just being frugal and then I just like learning things and doing things on my own and not having to depend on anybody else's schedule and I save a lot of money this way. Um, so I do cut my own hair. If you want to know the clippers that I use, they're right here, but I'm going to put everything in the description box. Every single thing that I use in this video will be a part of my Amazon shop. If you press the link in the description, and if you purchase a product within that link, I will get a small, small, small percentage. So help me out. So look, I do cut my own hair. I don't. This video is not really about me cutting my hair, so I'm not really going to get into that. But for the people that really want every single detail, I'm going to give it to you, okay? Because I hate when I go to a video and I'm like looking at a DIY or a routine or something and they never tell me every single detail and I'm trying to get exactly what you have. <laughs> so look, I cut my hair with this uh, clipper guide right here. This is a one fourth uh, inch, one fourth of an inch, six millimeter uh, guard, okay? So that is the length of my hair right now. That is the length that I start at every single time that I bleach my hair. That is just the length that I like. I like, it's just, I, it's just what I like. So when I cut my hair, I put the guard on with this handle right here is either shorter or longer. I do the longer one and with the guard. Pretty much what I do, I'm gonna explain it to you right now and then I'm gonna show you. I start off here, okay? Um, this is me ready to bleach my hair. I only bleach my hair once a month, okay? Yep, once a month. I only bleach my hair once a month, but I, it's an intense bleaching, so it lasts for a very long time. So what I do is I make my solution with the developer and the powder. I bleach my hair for an hour and 10 or 15 minutes. It just depends. I don't really know. Since I'm black, I'm probably going to do an hour and 15 or 20 minutes. Um, I bleach my hair for an hour and 15, 20 minutes. Okay, wash it out. And then to deactivate it, I use purple shampoo. After that, I do a protein treatment um, in my hair so that I just treat it and it's, you know, taking care of my head. It's already damaged, bitch. The most you could do is give her a protein treatment, okay? Okay, so as far as bleach, I use the BW2. There is no reason that I use the BW2. Um, the only reason I use this is because at the beauty store that I go to, I never get this small one. I get the very big one, the very big one, because I'm a blondie. I'm going to stay blonde all year. So you might as well get a bang for your buck and get the large one. So that's the only reason I get this one. There's no real special reason. It doesn't do good for your roots. I don't know, bitch. Either way, you're damaging your scalp. Okay, so that's the powder that I use, and you know you need to use the developer. The developer that I use is 40 volume, okay? Yeah, 40 volume, and this is Clairol Pure White. So once after I do that protein treatment, then I condition it again with a regular conditioner and leave that in. I like to sit and set, okay, and take care of my hair. And then I wash that out, and then boom, that's day one. Okay, then what I do is 24 hours later, I do the same thing and I repeat. I get this bleach and I make the solution again and I bleach my hair again for an hour and like 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> yes, I know, it's pretty extreme, okay? But look, that's what we do, okay? And so an hour and a half, an hour and a half, like not an and a half, it's 
0.2, but you know what I mean. So an hour, 20 minutes, bleach, hour, 20 minutes, bleach. So it's a two day routine. Um, it really just depends on what color you want. I don't really have a problem with using toner. I don't know, I just like this result better. The color comes out way better. With toner, I feel like I will sit and do toner a lot and I keep using developer on my hair with the toner and it's just ruining my hair and not changing the color. I never get the color I really want. It always gets to like this ashy, yellowish blonde and I want platinum, like a close to white and that's what I like. So this is just the process that I do and it gets me there. So look. I feel like if you have longer hair, then you bleach and then you use toner. But because my hair is short and because I cut off all of the bleached hair after I'm done with it, and it just goes back to my new growth hair, I am able to do this extreme routine. Now, if you have longer hair, that is usually why you would use bleach once and then toner, then use a color. Because you're just trying to lift that black so you can get to a light color to get it to a different color with a dye. But since I don't use a dye, since my hair is short and since I'm cutting it off, I can go ahead and bleach my hair twice. I will say this does change the texture of your hair. So it's a bit as extreme as perming your hair. You're not really perming your hair, but it has the same effect. It does change um, the texture of the, your hair. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And yeah, y'all are gonna see me do it. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and everything like that, girl. Before you do put anything in your head, I comb my hair backwards so that my hair is sticking up. I already did it before I started recording, but I'm going to do it again. Okay, so I have my mixing bowl, and then I have my dye, I mean my bleach powder. So what I do is, I do one and a half scoops. I lied. I do two scoops, girl. I don't know why I'm lying to y'all. And then you want to moisturize the area around your hair so that you don't burn your actual skin or anything. So what I do is I use Vaseline and I use lotion, just to be safe. So I got my powder and then I'm going to go ahead and take my 40 developer, shake her up. And then I go ahead and add her. I've just been doing this for so long, I kind of already know how much to add. day after whatever I just recorded okay so yesterday I bleached my hair for an hour and like 30 minutes so you can see after a day that you get just from black you just get this yellow color so most people use like toner now to go in and make it that platinum color but me since I cut off my hair I'm cutting off that damaged hair so I'm always bleaching new growth hair now if you are wanting to keep your hair you do not want to bleach it again I'm telling you this if you want to keep growing out your hair and you keep bleaching it like the way I'm about to bleach it again, it's going to fall out. What happens is every single time that you bleach your hair, it thins your hair out, okay? You're processing it, it's a lot of chemicals. That's why your texture changes is because it goes from really, really thick to really, really thin. So if you keep bleaching it, it's going to thin out and it's really just gonna come out your hair. I'm about to bleach it again exactly how I did it yesterday and it's gonna take it from this to a platinum color, okay? So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, so the second time, this time, I am very particular where I put the bleach first, okay? Because where you put the bleach first is, is usually where it's going to get the most bleach because you put it on at different times, but you wash it off at the same time. So some of the places get bleached more. So like yesterday, I know I started in the front, right? And that's why you can see it's more platinum around this area right here. And then it's like more brassy and yellow right here and more golden. So what you want to do is look around your head and figure out the places where it's not even, like where it's darker. And that's where I'm gonna start first with the bleach, okay? Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower. Okay, so this is the final product, guys. See? Texture is completely different, girl. <laughs> okay. 
Okay guys, so I'm finally done waiting. I am finally ready to reveal it. This is a great reveal. So I keep this do-rag on until I, top, I press the top of my head and it's not damp anymore. I will say I would keep it on longer. The longer you keep on this do-rag and the longer you let your hair dry, the longer it'll last. If you take it off too early and your hair is still wet, it will frizz up in like an hour, 30 minutes, two hours, and it will not stay, okay? So, I mean, one way to probably avoid this is hairspray and spritz and stuff. I don't like using that on my head because it makes your hair sticky, hard, and all of that. So, I just really make sure that it dries. I let it dry, and that's it. You could probably use a blow dryer. That works, too. I use that when I'm really in desperate need. I'm a little scared because I was really rushing. Like, this is not my best work. <laughs> So I always, I never pull up this way because if you pull up this way, it'll take off your edges like the gel. So I always do it that way. Okay. Okay. She's not horrible. She's not horrible. Not my best. I mean, she looks okay. I just feel like it's looked better. So what you do now, once you take the do-rag off, is you go on your forehead and you just do that to get your ends up because it was gelled down. So now I'm going to talk to you guys about the upkeep and the maintenance. It's really not that long. So what I do is, I told you guys, I bleach my hair once a month. So if I bleach my hair on May 1st, it's not May, but I'm just thinking of graduation girl. If I bleach my hair on May 1st, you, I usually wait for four weeks, okay? I put in my calendar, this is the day I bleach, and then I wait four weeks. But now I'm starting to do five weeks. So I used to cut my hair. Like after I bleached it, the new growth, I would just like cut it every week that same length. And what happens is you're just cutting a little by little by little by little of the bleached hair off until you get all the way to that new growth. I used to do that, but now I kind of like that I don't cut it anymore. I just let it grow all the way out for four weeks because I don't know, with the, with the roots and the blonde, the long blonde at the end, I like how that looks. I like that look that it gives. I'm going to put some pictures up here if I have it. At, on, that, on that fourth week, when you go to bleach it again and you have all this new growth and you have this hair right here that's now going to be old bleached hair on top of the new growth, when you put the bleach in, I do this routine exactly the same. When you put the bleach in, what happens is your bleached hair now is going to completely fall off. It's going to completely come off because it's been processed to the limit, bitch. It's been thinned out so much that it's completely non-existent. It's falling off. So when that comes off, it's just going to leave behind the, the new growth, the bleached new growth. So that new growth that is black is going to become yellow, and then you have to bleach it a second time. Like, you know the routine. So what happens is, even though you did cut your hair with that guide of 6 millimeter, you'll notice you'll still have blonde after you do that. So... Really, when you bleach it, your hair is not the length that you actually cut it. You, it's going to be the length that you cut it minus the blonde hair that fell off. The reason I'm going to wait longer now is so that I can get a true 6 millimeter hair length when I bleach again with the new growth. So I'm giving my new growth more time to grow out so that when I do bleach it again, it's actually like this. Um, so I, I hope that made sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, girl. There's not really much I can do to explain it. I do want to say once again, I am not a professional. You need to make sure that you do consult somebody. If you're really sensitive about your hair, your head, I, look, this is just what works for me. I'm just sharing because people keep asking, girl. I'm not saying this is the best thing for you to do. I'm just saying this is work, what works for me. Please consult somebody. If you don't trust me, girl, I, don't trust me. Please consult somebody, girl. If you don't con consult somebody, bitch, consult Google. Somebody, okay? But this is just my process. It's worked for me for years. I don't have cancer. It came out pretty nice. And um, this is how I get it. So look, if you do decide to do this routine, if you do decide to use it, if you have a question or if you have something to say, please make sure that you follow me on Instagram and you send it to me because I want to be post. I want to post a couple of people. So tag me in it. It's Tariq Ali. Tag me in your pictures. I love you guys. My name is Tariq Ali. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.